Hello everyone and welcome to Hearn Bay. Me and Mark, Mark's down there, I'm here. There he is, he's just setting up. He's, what are you doing Mark, you putting your rigs on? He's putting his rigs on. I've got my rigs on there. We've come to Hearn Bay because one, the wind is coming from the south. Hearn Bay is on the North Kent coast, so it's coming behind us. We're also sheltered by this really big slope behind us which is really good. The water is pretty much like a sheet of glass, which is lovely. Weather conditions are great, it's about 13, 12, 13 degrees. This is very unusual for a, a fishing trip of mine recently, but um, I'm gonna take it. The tide's a little bit smaller than I'd hoped, but there's a good chance of a ray this evening, so we're gonna give it a good go. We've walked all the way down the steps on the hill, to come here so we've got to walk all the way back up then on the way back now i'll show you the rigs in a minute but we're both going to go just straight out for rays both rods straight for rays um and both rods we have fish baits on really basically so i'm going to get them baited up now show you what i'm doing and get the baits out hopefully we get a fish right i'm going to sort out some bait now for both my rods and the first one i've got here I'm going to bind up half a bluey, half a squid. I'm going to bait elastic that together first and then get it on the hooks. And you'll see this time, because I had a comment in my last video, oh, there's way too much bait elastic. But that was because the baits were frozen. So the bait elastic sits on top of the bait. But because it's under tension, when that bait frosts the bait elastics then digs in and you can see there there's plenty of bait showing not a problem at all and what I'm going to do as always fat end of the bait there goes on the bottom hook so I'm basically just going to swing that around like that I've kept the bait elastic on so I'll just put a bit more on it like so and you don't want big chunks of this fishy bait to be exposed without bait elastic. Especially at this time of year, crabs are coming out, getting active. And if you leave big exposed areas of soft fishy bait like that, crabs are going to rip it apart in seconds. So get your bait elastic on like that. not going to affect your catch rate nice straight streamlined bait nice and clean look at that nothing wrong with that at all that will catch anything if it's out there so i'm going to clip this up now and what i've got on this rod is a up and over so basically this this hook smooth will sit on the bottom like that but it's called an up and over because you can basically go up over the clip and back down and then clip that on the input at the bottom like so there we are that bait is all clipped up and over oh mark's going mark's gone good cast there lovely mate all right let's get this one out second one's better right second one I am going very plain and simple sardine tail or sardine end section I mean it's pretty much three quarters of that sardine but uh, we'll go with that because uh, nice and soft a lot of bait elastic on this is one of the softest well this is softer than bluey and mackerel herring 
this does get picked apart a bit. So. Oh, we, we've got an argument. There is an argument going on. Voila. Nice and on there. Put it on the other rod. Like that. Lovely. Done. Right, that bait's very soft, but it's in, it's on. We're gonna get him clipped up and get him out. Right, let's get this one out. Let's hope this one's better than my last cast. Go over the line, I think, I'm gonna have to. Right. Nicely clipped, stayed done. Let's get this one. Oh, that's blown out there. That's going. That's going. Beautiful. Very nice. Well happy with that cast. That's right out there. Beautiful. Well, Mark might be in already. <laughs> That's what happens, mate. As soon as you get next to the rod, the oh, bite stop. Is what? It's either when you go to the loo or when you start eating, you get a bite. Oh, yeah, that looks. That... Wait, wait, leave it, mate. If that's a ray, you want to make sure you hook that. Looks like it could be dogfish. Well, I mean, it's more promising than it has been. Mark's getting knocks on both rods. Don't know if they're dogfish or, they're, or, or, or I would have thought they are possibly dogfish. I'm hoping they're not crabs. Um, um, but it's lovely fishing. I'm not cold, I'm not wet. I'm happy to be out, happy to be fishing, embracing the British springtime weather. Um, I'm hoping that the, the water temperatures have picked up a little bit because uh, they have been very cold, but it has been warmer this week. It has been wet, but it has been warmer. I did see uh, a news article about um, more sewage releases around this coast, but I did read into it and it's, it's actually sewage releases from storm drain, from, from too much rainwater, um, which they're allowed to do. It's still not great, but I mean, if there are these companies allowed to do it and it is trying to protect the uh, drain system and the sewage system then what can we do they just need to upgrade their systems I think but um, I can't see any horrible effluent here or anything floating in the water so it's looking really nice tonight it's really nice peaceful calm we just need a fish so fingers crossed we get a fish Darkness is soon. It may come on the feed then.
Well, the light is dropping now. A um, few people turned up. There's quite a few people fishing along behind me there. But a um, little bit of a faux pas. Didn't actually check the weather. I thought, ah, it looks lovely. Um, and I'm trying to load the weather as we speak, but there's not much internet here. And then when you go this way, the sky's getting darker and darker. Perhaps this is just a honeymoon period in the weather for me. And uh, normal weather will resume shortly. I'm hoping darkness brings these fish on. So come on, come on, clock, come on, tick on, tick on. I want some fish. Oh, hey, fish, one fish, just not whiting. Well, I'll come over here because this might save the blank from the video. You never know. Mark's left his rod out there for quite a while. Yeah. And there we go, he's got a whiting. I didn't even film you bringing that in, mate, because no, I didn't know. We didn't think, did we? Didn't think, but, um, well, it saves you a blank, doesn't it, mate? Yeah. Have a look. I think. There we are, there's a whiting. Yeah. Not a bad size one. No. Probably just just a keeper if you want to get for Just a fish cake size. Just a, yeah. or a fish finger. Yeah, <laughs> Have half a fish finger sandwich with that bad boy. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, mate. Well I, done, mate. I ain't fucking going hungry tonight, am I? Oh, mate. Oh, well, I when might. you look at that fish and look at your belly, I think you might go hungry still. Yeah. <laughs> it's more fish you get in a fillet of fish from McDonald's, though. It is more fish than you get in a fillet Plus of fish. Plus, you have to wait 10 minutes because they don't normally do them. I never ask for them, mate. No, it's not. Like, when people ask for them, I just look at you You're right. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man that looks after himself. I don't have McDonald's. Nah. Double quarter pounder chase. No, not at all. Don't know what you're talking about. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Well, I'm going to bring my other rod in in a minute. It's the one that I put out first. But before I do that, I'm going to get a bait half ready on the hook. Might as well, hadn't I? It's nicely wrapped up. hope these uh, rays or a ray come to play tonight. I have been struggling recently. I know a lot of people have been struggling. The weather's been against everyone but um, the fishing has got to start picking up soon. Let's hope today is our day. Right there we go. It's a nice, nice sausage. Let's go and get that I'll bait in and we'll get that one on. Why does that feel heavier than normal? No, it doesn't anymore. Well, the bait's been pecked a bit, but more than enough on that to catch fish. So let's get a new bait on. Oh, Mark is pulling it out the bag today, <laughs> isn't you, mate? Look oh. at that. First a whiting, oh. second a crab. Oh, no. I know. So I've, oh, I've got a fish finger and a crab stick. So <laughs> You've no. got a fish finger and a crab stick? I mean, what more do you want? Oh. There he is. Look, he's really having a go at me. Oh, they are cute. Look at that, <laughs> eh? Little shore crab. Look at him. Look at the markings on the back of that. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh. 
back for a smooth van, wasn't it? Right, just something a little bit different and away from the fishing for a moment. Um, I'm going to do a little giveaway of three t-shirts. A random giveaway. Um, what I want to do for your chance to get your hands on one of these t-shirts, I would like you to comment on this video. Comment a nice comment that I can interact with and reply to. And if you comment on three or more of the next five videos, you get your name automatically in the hat with your chance to win one of the t-shirt designs that I have got for this channel. So it's not a lot to do, just uh, put a comment if you're watching this. And if you do it on three of the next five, you'll get your name into the hat with a chance of winning a t-shirt. So um, please, please comment and uh, boost this picture. Oh yeah, Mark, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe if you're watching this and help this channel grow. Thank you very much. Right, I've just had a pull down on this right hand rod. Come on. Come on. It's a bit of current now. A bit of left to right. There's definitely a pull down. I think we must be. What's the time, Mark? Uh, yeah, we're pretty much at high tide now. So it's high tide now. Hope if something happens on the ebb because it has been very slow. I mean, I don't know what I expect. That's what all of my last sessions have been like. I mean, it's been an awful start of the year, hasn't it, Mark? Awful. Good times ahead. Let's can't hope. Worse, no, it can't get any worse. You're right there, mate. It cannot get any worse. Well, unfortunately, another session like this isn't doing a lot for the confidence or the enthusiasm, really. Um, I really need a session that first bait goes in and I get bites. It's now been, I don't know. What's the time mark now? now been over two hours we've just passed high so we've got the ebb which is a good first two hours of the ebb should be good for the rays if they're going to come on the feed so fingers crossed but as I said enthusiasm's going because uh, my last few sessions have been very poor I think it's just due to the weather weather conditions and the sea conditions and temperatures just haven't been right there's not a lot going on here to keep me interested or exciting. It's not like there's amazing wildlife flying past or, or crabs and, and, and rock pools to explore, which tend to keep me busy. All I've got is Mark, and he's pretty boring, to be honest. Um, he's there playing with his rigs, so I don't know what he's doing. You all right, mate? Yeah, Did you hear that? No. No, he didn't hear that. That's all good. Come on, fish. Well, Mark is bringing his rod in for the second time, and he said to me just now, quote, it feels a bit weighty. So let's uh, see how weighty it is. It looks like there's a fish there, mate. Oh, he's got another whiting. He's got two. You're the whiting king, man. <laughs> I mean, not just one. Not just one, two. Okay. Now this is why he's getting white in because he is fishing a two at clapper. So he's got two at clapper on. And um, what are you putting on that? Small bits of fish? Yes. Right. 
So he's got small bits of bluey on this tour clapper. So these white in there about, and they're engulfing it. There we are, let you see it in his mouth there. Whereas I'm fishing two bigger baits for a ray. That's why I have to set up another bigger bait. Oh, he's fi oh, he's, you're fed up with it. You're fed up with these now. Yeah. They're well, all right. Well, you haven't Better blanked. Enough, you haven't blanked, mate. Have no. you? And I have at the moment. Yeah. So well done, mate. That's because you're a big blanker. Yep. I uh, probably am. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what to say, Mark. Um, Anything to say? I'm hungry. He's hungry. He's laying there like um, like David Brent. <laughs> David Brent. Like David Brent. Well, like modeling. David Asselhoff. David Asselhoff. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> like, uh, and all he's Brent. thinking about is his belly. Yeah, it's quiet on the fishing front, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is quiet on the fishing front. It's sort of non-existent on the fishing front. Nice, um, nice night, though. Nice to relax. Uh, yeah, I like thinking relaxing. About yeah. what I'm going to eat next. Thinking about what you're going to eat next, which is a McDonald's, is it? Oh, I probably expect so. Yeah. You, yeah. What do you reckon you're going to order? Uh, I think I'll probably have um, a double quarter pounder with cheese. Double quarter pounder with cheese. Large meal, obviously. Okay, large. Yeah. And what then, drink? Full fat coke. Full fat coke with a sugar tax, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, I might even have a cup of uh, six cheeky nuggets on the side. Wow, I, I living, mean, you only go I'm small, didn't dream, you? Yeah, I only I'll, go fishing, go McDonald's afterwards. Do you? I'll probably <laughs> have a sweet chili chicken wrap. Is that the wrap of the day? Is it? I don't know if it is, I don't care to Do be right. perfectly honest. I'll just get that a large one, of course, and I'll go diet coke. That's why there's a difference. Sod off, you had a meal deal, you used to scoff in your face on the way I did up. have a meal deal before, so McDonald's and meal deal. Get in. <laughs> anyway, McDonald's will be coming around quite quick at this rate. This fishing doesn't pick up. Yeah, we've got we've got a ray on here. We've got a ray on here, come on. Come on. Come on. Make sure he's on there, that's what I want to do. Make sure he's on there. Come on. Yeah! Have I got him? We've got something, I think. We've got something, I think. Yes. Yeah, I think so, mate. Little one. Right, well, we've got something here, I think. Little way on here. Finally, the persistence has paid off, which is nice. It's only little. Don't. Yeah, it's a ray. I feel it's a ray. Oh, don't want to lose this. Come on. I'm gonna go easy on this because I haven't had a fish for a long time, a decent fish, and I want this. Come on. Come on, little way. Here we come. A nice feeling after all this time. Oh, it's got a bit. Well, I'm caught in your line. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I'm caught on Mark's line. It's not good. How far out am I? Am I? Right, okay. Might be alright, mate. Here I am. Where am I? Am I proper caught on you or have I... Where am I? Hey, we've got a ray. I'm happy about. Look at that. 
we've got thorny. Right, let me get this line off there. And then where am I on yours, mate? Am I just over it? Once. Yeah, I'm over it once. That's it. Go down. Yes, mate. Oh, I'm happy. Well done, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I've got what I came for. Finally. I don't know how big it is. You got your scales on your mark? No, I don't know how big that is. It's probably five, I'd say. I've got my yellow ones. I might put it in a bag and give it away in a minute. I'll get you to get some photos of it. Yeah. But there we are. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. What a stunning fish. Beautiful fish. This one hasn't got... They tend to have the funny starry eyes, but this one has just got plain... Plain black... Um, like pupils on there. And then you've got, there we are, just hooked. Oh no, he has swallowed it, he has swallowed <laughs> it, so I need to get that out. But uh, there's his mouth. You don't want to get your fingers in there. There's his mouth. You don't want to get your fingers in there because he will crush them. I've done it with a small one before and it's painful, it really is. Pick them away. Nice soft bit in there. Oh, there we go. We'll get him unhooked. Give them away and then we're getting released. But I'm very pleased. Well, there we go. There he is. Four, just over four and a half pounds. So I'm happy with that. And we're getting in the water there. Come on, mate. There he is. I'm so happy. Oh, that broke my duct. I've got a fish. Come on. Get yourself back out. There he is. Go on. Go on. There he is. Go on. Let yourself go. I'm getting wet feet for you. Come on. Go on. There you go. Lovely. Stunning creatures. Here, find his way, and here go. There he goes. Come on. Oh, I'm buzzing after that. I really am. I'm sort of got the uh, the bug back to keep fishing. I know it, it's only four and a half pound, just over four and a half pound, but it's a race. What I've come for. I've had some really bad sessions struggling to get fish. Weather's been against me. Tides have been against me. But finally. I got a fish, got what I came for. I'm well happy. Doesn't take a lot, but I am chuffed to bits. I know, I know how you feel, mate. Because I felt the same when I pulled that white in. Him. That's that's it. Mark felt the same when he got his white in. <laughs> oh right, I'm gonna get another bait, out. another mackerel bait on there. Let's get him out again. Let's see if we can get another one. Well, there we are. My next bait ready to go out. A bit of mackerel, mackerel fillet on the hook, let's get it clipped up, cast out, see if we can get another one. Well, whilst I'm waiting for a bite, I'm waiting for Mark to bring his rods in. I was just looking at these groins and there's things crawling around on them. I don't know what that was, just around there. There is life even on these groins. Look at those muscles. They're tucked right into there. There's some weird bug spider thing. What is that? I do not know what that is. Running around there. Barnacles behind there. I think there's a sand flea in there or something tucked away. What is that? I don't know what that is? Oh, they did all run around. There's life everywhere. Even just in these cracks. It's full of life. Tiny little muscles everywhere. Oh, 
really, really interesting to see. Mark's rod tips were just doing a merry dance, both of them, weren't they? Yeah. I think the right one's those getting vibration from the left one. Is it? Yeah. Don't underdo yourself, mate. Uh, You've got fish on both. Come right. on. <laughs> Don't undersell it. No, I think it's still just something tempting on the left one. There's nothing on the right one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope there's something, mate. He keeps coming about. He keeps. He's been coming about for the last 45 Doing minutes. a Yuri. Yeah. Having a little taste, a little lick of your bait. Yeah, and then going away. Not too Thinking there's better it. down down the road, and then he yeah. comes back for a little... Oh, there, 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 there. Yeah, that looks white in light, mate. No more. Please, no white more in, white. White in, man. There it goes again. Let's see what he gets. Here's Mark. Mark is uh, currently doing a peep. We That's call it. it doing a peep, don't we? You have, mate. And why is that? Why is it called doing a peep? Because he likes to pack up early. He and does, go doesn't, home, he? doesn't he? Don't glare your light like and that. He doesn't. He doesn't. Um, he doesn't normally fish two rods either, does he? He doesn't. Just one for a quick getaway. Quick getaway from us. Yeah. Well, so, he does does because he normally goes with you, doesn't he? And it's never quick. No, he don't do quick, does he? <laughs> he don't do quick. <laughs> there we are, Pete. <laughs> Well, Turn right off. See, so he's not even here, he's getting a mention. Yeah. There are Pete. Mark's doing a peep. <laughs> well, Mark. I think he might be going for it with his last rod. Oh, yes. He hasn't got it. Have you? I've got something on there. Have you got something on there? Oh, let's have a look. I check my rod. Is, my rods aren't going. Huh? I'm just checking my rods aren't going. Oh, he's over the other side. Oh, you are on my line, yeah. Got my line. Oh no, you're under my line. What have you got, then, mate? What's taking you that far around? Uh, doggy. Have you got a doggy? Let's have a look. He's right over the other side. Oh no. Oh, here we go. How, how have you two caught each other and my two rods are sat in the middle fine? Oh, oh Ben, I bet you were well excited then, weren't you? Oh, for a second and then I realised you was winding in. It wasn't me, mate. Not me. Blame Mark. Well, drop your, drop your rod, mate. Yeah, I'm just hoping I don't get on that break. Yeah. Done, yeah. There you are. Sorry, mate. You might have a fish on. Oh, here we are. So Ben's here. He's been fishing next to next to me. Mark's got his. Uh, that's a good white. That's half decent white, mate. I mean, that's a keeper. He's greedy, isn't he? He's a greedy. They are greedy. They are greedy. Have you got something, Ben? Right. Bit of weight. But... Not a ray. Oh, there we go. Probably just <laughs> well, it's coming in. Here it comes. Are you. Well, you have got a nice clump of weed there, mate. Yeah, weed. Just weed. Just weed and no bait. No bait. The crabs have been at it. Somewhere. Unlucky, mate. <laughs> Alright, turn my light off. Right, Mark just made a very good point. That we've got to do our video now, haven't we? Yeah, we might have better to do it at the top, will we? No. We need oxygen. We will top. need oxygen at the top of these steps. We are packed up now, we're all packed up. Um, it's just gone half nine. Um, tide's dropping. Over two hours down now. Um, gone out. A bit. It's only a small tide, but it's gone out a bit, but we both had fish. Oh, finally, we've had a session with fish. Yeah. It's all right, mate. Okay, I had some whiting. He had some whiting, and I had the ray that I was after. Yeah. So I'm it's very, not, it's not cursed, very happy. It? it is cursed because I've snapped my um, selfie stick. Yeah, but that can be repaired, can't it? It can be repaired. Top, but, so it can indeed. It'll be all right. Anyway, it's busy now. busy as well, down it here, is, isn't it? It is busy. There's one, two, three. There's at least five we can see, and then probably more into the distance. 
Um, so there's people here. I, don't, I haven't seen um, another ray from what I can see next to me. There's been some white in, but um, I haven't seen any other rays. There might be, but it's it is slow. It's slow. Um, but I found one, so I'm happy. More, more, more than happy. I'm yeah. overjoyed. I am. Starting us some fishy sessions. Like yeah, that. some fishy sessions. That'd be good. Yeah. Anyway, till next time. That's it. No, actually, well, what is it? You always do it, like, like and subscribe. Yeah, you've got to like and subscribe. It's free. What do you get free these days? Exactly. For a bit of free? entertainment. Exactly. We don't catch all the time, but we make a base of it when we do. <laughs> we do. Yeah, exactly. So please like and subscribe. And until next time. Tight lines. Tight lines. <laughs>